Hello everyone and welcome to Wolf Quality Coffee. Today we are talking about what's this bit uh, and this is flow meters. We're talking about all things flow meters for your espresso machine and uh, what a flow meter does is it really measures uh, the amount of water uh, that you're going to deliver through the group head to be able to brew and prepare your espresso coffee uh, and you know fairly simple um, but we'll pull them apart so you can have a bit of a look. Um, one of the key things is they come apart in three pieces. Uh, we have obviously the top, uh, which sits here, um, and that has a little rubber o-ring that sort of lives underneath it, like so. Um, but what we can see here is uh, we have three sort of raised areas, and this is the magnets that sort of sit within that. Uh, we then have the main body, um, and then what comes out is a little simple plastic little wheel, um, and this obviously spins around quite freely on the inside. Uh, it has uh, directional arrows that are marked on the top of the flow meter and this determines the flow of the water uh, passing in uh, which will be the hot water passing in and then coming out and returning uh, to the group head and this is obviously what's measuring uh, your dose. So how it works is electrically um, it spins around, a little wheel spins around because of the volume of water that's getting passed through it and on the top of the flow on the little impeller that we have here you can see we have two little bits of metal um, and then uh, it's obviously uh, traveling over these three raised areas here and it's it is uh, counting each time that it passes around this is in a in a revolution and a calculation has been made as to how many times that this passes around um, to deliver the amount of water volume that's required for your dose to brew the espresso now one of the problems that we typically find on espresso machines is that we get flow meter issues, pulse, pulse issues, um, and this is directly either related to one, again, water quality, that we have a, a calcification build up to it. Um, so one of the things that one needs to check, uh, that these are nice and clean and clear. It may be a case that you need to just simply replace the little uh, plastic impeller due to wear and tear, but also making sure that you pick this side up and this is clean and clear of any sort of build up and then finally making sure that you may be looking, I guess, a little bit downstream, more towards uh, your group head, and then checking that the flow restrictor itself uh, may also not be blocked as well, so we're not getting some back pressure that's creating some faults to it. One of the other areas that does cause them a little bit of a bit of a concern is that they do tend to overheat slightly, and you can receive an over, an over voltage from the board up to the flow meter as well. Um, so a higher voltage coming up from the flow meter and the combination of these overheating will also create the faults that we see um, with inconsistent shots with the brewing time. So that's what this bit is all about. Um, it's fairly simplistic little device, um, but that's what the flow meter is. Um, it is something that you can, uh, you can replace yourself if need be, remembering that you do need to sort of turn the water off at the machine, depressurize it, and then also turn it off electrically as well, uh, because obviously we are connecting it on the top here from an electronic uh, perspective. Um, the flow meters are fairly common. Uh, we, uh, we use obviously the G-Car ones, uh, and they're, they're quite common. But that's what this bit is, the flow meter. Uh, so uh, continue to keep subscribing. If you like, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends. If there's a little bit that you don't need to know, that you need to know more about, please send us an email or a photograph along uh, and we're happy to uh, describe what's this bit. I'm Peter Wolf and thank you for watching.